Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature that is available inside Windows 11 in the latest beta and dev channel builds, and that is the new advanced settings section inside the new settings app. Basically, that is just the old dev home app being replaced by Windows advanced settings. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, let me show you how to enable it because you can enable it really easily by enabling one ID using Vive tool, as I've said in the latest dev or beta channel builds. Make sure you're up to date and you should be able to enable this. Then just go into the article below, you're gonna have Vive tool there. Just get the latest version.zip for your system, for example, Intel or AMD or even a Snapdragon. And once you get it, you can just open it up using the file explorer, click on extract all, click on browse and make sure you extract it into a location. For example, in this PC, local disk C, and I created here a folder hidden feature. So I'm just gonna extract it here and also, let's Let's copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the command. Now let's click on extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination. And this is how easily you set a Vive tool on your computer. Now open up CMD, type in the search box CMD, and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. And inside the CMD, first of all, type in CD and then space, then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool, and then run this command Vive tool slash enable slash ID. And this is the ID 56005157. This ID and feature will was discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter. Make sure to follow him from the pinned comment below. Then press enter. You should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. You can then exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, if you open up the settings app, then go to system and then scroll down a bit, you're gonna see this new section, which is advanced. Inside this section, you're gonna see some advanced settings. For example, you have the option to enable end task and taskbar by right click. Whenever you right click on an open app, you're gonna have the option to end that task if you enable this option. Inside the file explorer section, you have a lot of options. For example, you can show file extension, show hidden in system files, show full path and title bar, show option to run as different user and start, show empty drives. You can enable all these. You're going to have more info inside your file explorer. You can also update the advanced settings component to get the latest features. I'm just going to click on update now. And it's going to open the Windows store. And as you can see, we have an update for this and then we can update it. And uh, this is basically a app integrated inside settings which is something pretty interesting. Hopefully there won't be any compatibility issues or anything. Let's now just restart the settings app and see if everything is now up to date. Then we go inside the advanced section again, inside file explorer. And I think we should have the latest version now, even though this banner still appears. You can also add folders to the file explorer settings page. You can also enable long paths. You have virtual workplace for remote desktop where you can change a few settings related to remote desktop and remote desktop users. I think it's a really nice idea by Microsoft because I think the these options will be very, very nice to have directly in the settings app and inside virtual workspaces, you can see that we have containers, virtual machine platform, the Windows hypervisor platform, Windows sandbox and other Hyper-V settings that we can enable directly from the new settings app. We have the terminal where we can let Windows decide the default terminal app. We can use the Windows console host or the Windows terminal. We have PowerShell options. We have enable sudo if you want to use sudo in a Linux environment directly in Windows you can enable the developer mode. You can also see the device portal, device recovery. And from here, you can see dev drives and then you can change up the settings for disks and volume and dev drives. One nice memory that I have related to this developer mode, if you remember a few years ago, I've done videos about installing Android apps directly in Windows 11. Unfortunately, Microsoft disabled that feature permanently. I think they didn't have enough users of that feature. I was one of them and I'm really sad that that feature was disabled and they are no longer working on it. But but of course, using developer mode, you can do a lot of other things. For example, you can install apps from any source, including loose files. So if you want to have this advanced section inside the latest dev or better channel builds, just use Vive tool, run that command, and you should have it inside your settings app. Please let me know below in the comments what you think about this new advanced settings section inside Windows 11. As I've said, all the information you need will be in the article below. And don't forget to follow Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.